Okay, I want to go ahead and welcome everyone to today's MPA Global Webinar. Uh, the topic of our presentation today will be Learn from the MVP, Tips, Tricks, and Best Practices for Using Microsoft Project 2007 and 2010. With that, I want to introduce uh, today's speaker. Uh, we're very happy to have Dale Howard back. All right, let's continue with some tips and tricks and best practices for you. This next one is an interesting little best practice. All right, number one, ladies and gentlemen, in this project, we are looking at the resource usage view. The resource usage view is a resource view that has a couple of interesting elements in it that make it unique. Number one, we do see the list of all the resources assigned, for example, the name Amy McKay. But here's the first little interesting thing. Below Amy's name is the list of her task assignments, her task assignments. Um, number two, here's what is also interesting. Over on the right side of the screen, we have what is called a time phase grid, which shows Amy McKay and all the other resources work by time period. Right now, I'm zoomed to the level where we see the weekly time period. So I can see, for example, Amy will be working 16 hours on the first week, 24 in the second, and so forth. One of the chief complaints of Microsoft Project users is, great, I see Amy's name, great, I see her tasks, but I want to see the summary tasks. I need to know where these tasks are in the project. That's the number one complaint about the resource usage view. To display summary tasks in the resource usage view requires a trick, requires a trick. And the trick is this. You have to just apply a group, a default group. Ladies and gentlemen, this default group is available in both Microsoft Project 07 and 2010. If you're an 07 user, Everybody write this down. If you're an 07 user, write this down. You'll click on the Project menu. Then you choose Group By. And then you'll choose the group Assignments, Keeping Outline Structure. If you're a 2010 user, you'll need to bring up the View ribbon. And in the data section of the view ribbon, you'll find a group by pick list. And again, the group that we want to apply is called Assignments Keeping Outline Structure. And ladies and gentlemen, when you apply that custom, uh, I shouldn't say custom, that default group that ships with 07 and 2010, you will miraculously see every task grouped by summaries. So for example, you can see that Amy McKay's work is happening in the renovation phase, construction deliverable, and carpentry sub-deliverable summary task sections. If I scroll down a little further here, I have a resource named Karen Stewart who has tasks appearing in three sections. They're all in the renovation phase, construction deliverable, but she's also in the carpentry, electrical, and plumbing sub-deliverable sections as well. When you do this, it'll show the complete work breakdown structure of summary tasks for every task that is listed in the resource usage view. So that's my third trick, but wait, there's more. Um, a couple of days ago, it was actually Monday night, I was in Chicago. Uh, Jennifer and I were there uh, the, for the Midwest Microsoft Project Conference. I was in my hotel room Monday night answering questions in the Microsoft Project public uh, forum on the Internet. And a question that I answered leads to an on-the-fly or ad hoc addition to my presentation. I, I added it to my presentation in Chicago, and I want to add it too. The uh, gentleman in the public forum 
ask a question like this. He said, I'm using a master project with multiple sub-projects, and they're all connected to a shared resource pool file. He said, I want to be able to see which project each task is in. And a lady who is a fellow MVP of mine, her name is Julie Sheets, um, she answered his question, and she gave a correct answer. She said, yeah, all you need to do is just insert the project column. And yeah, that's right. But it still would have made the screen awfully complicated. And right then I thought, you know what? I bet a custom group would solve this problem and just make the screen a lot friendlier for this guy. So I did about two minutes of research. That's all the longer it took me to cook up this special custom group. And I want to show you how to do it as well. Now here's what you do. Let me take off my grouping. You're going to, in 07, you'll go to Project, Group by, More Groups. Project, Group by, More Groups. In 2010, you'll click the Group by Pick List and choose More Groups. In the More Groups dialog, you will select the group we just applied, that one assignments keeping outline structure, you're going to select that group and make a copy of it. And then we're going to give it a name. The name of this group, and you can call it anything you want, folks. I'm going to call it this, assignments by project and WBS. I'll give it a name that will help me to identify what the group does. And then here's what you want to do. You're going to edit what shows in the group. We're going to leave name on the first row. Name actually refers to the resource name. Then, uh, and it also, by the way, and you can see it right here, it refers to the resource name. We're going to leave task outline number in. That is the grouping on the task assignments but we're going to insert a new row right above it. So I'm going to select Task Outline Number, and I'm going to press on my computer keyboard the Insert key, which will get me a new blank row. And we're going to pick in this new blank row in the field name column, we're going to pick the field called Project. And then we'll need to tell Microsoft Project, finally, that we're going to group by assignment, on the project field, and we'll group by assignment on the task outline number field. You also need to know this. There is a checkbox right below the data grid called Group Assignments, Not Resources. You must have that checkbox selected in order to pick Assignment in the field type column. Now, folks, once you've done that, just, just look at my screen, take some quick notes here. The grouping we want will be by resource name, then by the project, and that's at the assignment grouping level, then by task outline number, again, at the assignment grouping level. When I click Save, then I click Apply, bingo. What it actually shows me is the grouping by project and then by WBS. Now, where this gets really valuable, and you know what? I screwed up enough here that I'm mad at myself. Why, why don't I actually open a real master project and let me just do it all again? I'm going to open a master project here. Here we go. Um, this is a project consisting of three sub-projects. The resources listed here are assigned to tasks across the three sub-projects. Let me go ahead and just do this again. Let me just create this custom group all over again. My bad. Sorry to waste two minutes of your time here. I can do it pretty fast, though. Assignments by project and WBS. It's more impressive if you actually see it uh, in a master project. And let's group by project. And we want assignment. Whoops. Assignment and assignment. Okay, here we go. Save, apply. All right, there we be. Much better, much better. 
I can see, for example, that Bob Saclari is assigned in the new Product 1 project. He's in Phase 1. I can see he's also assigned in the new Product 2 project, where he is assigned to two tasks in Phase 1. So folks, there you have it. Now here is where this is useful. This is in 07 or 2010 when you're using a master project consisting of sub-projects, and your sub-projects are linked to a shared resource pool file. That's the requirement. Have to be linked to a shared resource pool file. If you're using Project Server 07 or 2010, then you're already linked to the enterprise resource pool. So all you have to do is open your master, expand the subprojects, go to resource usage, and then you can do this. So Jennifer, there's our next tip or trick. Let's find out if anybody has questions on that. Oh, by the way, before you start, Jennifer, 2010 users, you need to know that if you create this custom group, Microsoft Project will automatically copy it into your global.mpt file so you can use it in all current and future projects. If you are a 2007 user, then what you will do is in the More Groups dialog, again, you'll use the Organizer button which will bring up the organizer dialog, and then you can select your new custom group, copy it to the left into your global.mpt. You will have to do it manually versus the 2010 users who can have it done for them automatically.